census numbers were a devastating blow to Roswell. The city came up short of the number it was hoping for, and that means it will not get the money it wanted for major improvements. As Selena Westervelt reports, it took everyone by surprise. Are you surprised that we didn't make the 50000 mark? I am very surprised. I don't really trust the counts on paper. I don't know. I feel it's grown. It is. It's disappointing. Uh, there's a lot of work that's gone into uh, who we are and, and, and why we're here and what we hope to accomplish. People around town are shocked to learn Roswell's population didn't break the 50,000 mark this census. Numbers put the city's population a tad less at 48,366. That's more than 1,500 short of a metropolitan designation. I think the, the overall um, the agreement is that we have 50,000 people in the city of Roswell. 50,000 would give Roswell federal funds to improve roads, schools, and hospitals. So the latest census numbers show that Roswell's population grew 6.8 percent from 2000 to 2010. That's another figure that Mayor Del Journey says he disagrees with. But the chair of Roswell's census committee argues they did everything possible to make sure everyone was counted, including the city's illegal immigrants. We, we really did a tremendous tremendous amount of work in that area. All of the materials we had were in multiple languages. Uh, we had people with us every time that could speak Spanish very fluently. The mayor plans to appeal the final tally. In Roswell, Salida Westervelt, KRQE News 13. And the mayor isn't sure how long an appeal will take. If it's rejected, Roswell will have to wait 10 more years for a recount. Also in southeast New Mexico, census numbers show Alamogordo's population dropped more than 14%. That's a loss of more than 5,000 people.